Yes, so we've been on, my, my apologies, we've been on a mission on this channel for quite a, quite a long time. We've been trying to outdo the A12X25. I've been printing fans out and testing my designs. You guys have been sending me your designs that I've been printing out for the fan showdown, which I was testing more fans today, and you guys are getting, you're getting close. Uh, there were some very impressive uh, fans in this last episode that I haven't got out yet, but stick around for that one if you, if you don't know what that series is. I highly recommend you check it out and submit me your fans. But anyway, doing all that, seeing how close you guys are getting to the A12X25, I started to wonder, is this as good as it gets? Is there more potential locked within the A12X25 that's just asking to be brought to the surface? I think, I think there might be, and that's what we're gonna try to find today, right after this. Raid Shadow Legends. You've probably heard about it, but let me tell you why you've heard. Raid Shadow Legends has gotta be one of the most complex mobile games around. With 500 heroes to collect, each with their own skill tree and millions of artifacts to find and equip, no two champions will ever be the same. Raid is about to release a huge champion update, tweaking and rebalancing over 20 different champions to make PvP arena battles even more competitive. And if that's not enough for you, the Forge is coming up. So now you can save time and start crafting top quality artifacts and competing right away. And if that sounds good to you, go down to the video description, click the special link, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, one energy refill, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion. Slasher. He's pretty sweet. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Good luck, and I'll see you out there. Now, I mean, I can't take full credit for this idea. I've seen this commented a few times. Uh, many people have asked me on other videos, like, why are you taking all this time and effort to try to make the A12X25 do better by putting external motors on it or whatever other shenanigans I've been pulling off? They're like, just overvolt it, forehead. It's got plenty of potential already there. You just got to put more voltage to it. It can handle it. And I was like, all right, we'll do that. Got a power supply, got a fan, been running at its stock configuration of 12 volts at 0.14 amps or that's basically what the fan is recommended at. Uh, it's printed right there on the back. And we got good numbers. We know how well it cools this 7700K, 4.9 gigahertz. I got a good noise level at 500 millimeters. We know it's RPM. So if there is performance to be had, we'll be able to see it somehow. So that's what we gotta do. We just gotta find the limits of how much voltage and amperage it can take. And to do so, we're gonna kill, we're gonna re-kill this fan. So it's, it's already looking a little rough. This is a fan that I use to try to find the uh, limits of the fan blades, uh, how many RPMs it could take. I took a RC motor, strapped it to it, and meh, fast as I could until we shot a, shot a blade into space. But the funny thing is that this actually still works. It obviously doesn't move air. It doesn't have half its blades, but it still spins. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the rest of the blades. We're going to hook this one up. We're gonna slowly step up the voltage and amperage until we get to the braking limit. We'll take note of those values. We'll step them down a hair and then plug those into this fan and take it all the way up to its limit, run our stress tests again and see if there's any performance gained. Okay, let's get tests in here. Obviously when we add fan blades to this, the load's gonna go up so the amp draw is gonna be higher, but this will just give us a good starting point. So stock voltage, take a little measurement just to see if we're gaining any RPM or how much. 2566 with no blades on it, 12 volts. Shouldn't peak our amps here, but we'll just start going up in voltage and see where we make it to. Oh, we died. It's got protection on it, so we're back alive. I've had this going for a few minutes now. It looks like 19 volts is what it likes, and that's 43.30 RPM. Uh, anything over 19 volts, it seems like it lets it spin up, but then it goes into like a fail safe where it kicks the fan off and you have to reset it. But 19 seems good, so now let's move to the real deal. Now we'll start off at 12 just to make sure everything's working as planned. We're at 2,030 RPM, and we'll start taking up our voltage, see if we Problem is we're gonna have to start bumping amperage and that's, uh, that's where windings get sad. So we'll, we'll see how far 0.14 can make us. And we already found it. So we're already at constant current. Oh, wait a minute. 
We got 14 volts. 15? Yeah, we're not gonna, we need some more amps for this one. 19 volts, 0.196 amps. RPM is now at 2,830. So we are moving quicker. Let's see if that means we're cooling more. We're looking good. It's been 45 minutes. The fan's still running. Doesn't sound like anything's rattling or starting to shake loose. Uh, and across the board, with, with the exception of sound, we're doing better. The RPMs are higher, if that's a good thing or not. The cooling is higher. Yes, it is louder. Um, but I will say though, sitting right here, the difference between 12 volts and 19 volts is noticeable, but it's not like ear screeching loud. I mean, it is loud. It's a bit higher pitch, so it's a little harsher of a sound, but I've heard fans that are louder than this at a lower RPM. I will even say, I, before we did this, I had this set up on a cheaper fan and I was just trying to see how high I could push it and it got to a point where it just shut off and there was no coming back to life. At least with the other Noctua fan, it looks like there's some sort of protection in there that sees when the voltage is getting a little out of hand, shuts it down and you know protects the fan itself. Uh, don't quote me on that, just kind of what we noticed. But it does look like you can overclock your fan or overvolt your fan and get more performance out of it. I wonder if we can get more than 19. Now on the other fan, we weren't able to go above 19 volts. Everything shut down. So let's just see if we can get this one into 20. Seems like it's taking it just like uh, CPUs. Not every fan is created equal. Some handle things better than others. But we're at 21 volts, 0.217 amps. And now we're sitting about 3,024 RPM. We might have to run it again. I think there's more to be had. Just in case things get a little squirrely. 23 volts, 0.24 amps, 3200 RPM. This fan is handling the over voltage way better than the other one. And it's got a load on it. Maybe you would think that'd make it do worse because you got to put a higher amperage, but who knows? It is still going though. 3,511 RPM, 28 volts. You know what? We're going 30 volts. We're gonna see if the fan can handle the amps necessary to get there. No, oh, we didn't get there. 28 volts, 28, let's see where it settles out here. 28.57 volts, 0.322 on the amperage. And if I just go up to 0.323, she dies. So that's as high, that's as much as she can handle. She can't take 29 volts. So I guess we'll run it this way and See if uh, our numbers come down even more. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, 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 we killed it. Uh, remember a minute ago when I was like, oh dude, there's over voltage protection. So we're not gonna actually kill the fan. It'll just stop and then we can reset it and we'll be right back in the game. Well, it's not true. It's, it is dead. Uh, unless this power supply is dead. This fan has, yeah, it's seen, it's seen its final rotation. So yeah, um, at 19 volts, we did spin faster and get cooler temperatures. And we made it a whole 45 minutes on the stress test, but when we took it to the max, uh, it looked promising. The speeds were up, the noise was up, uh, the cooling performance was probably up, but it couldn't, it couldn't survive the test of time. So is this worth, is any of this worth it? No. I mean, one, you have to have a, a special power supply that your PC doesn't have. Uh, two, the fan is not going to like it. I mean, yeah, 19 volts lasted for 45 minutes, but would it last longer than that? Days upon days of use? Probably not. Uh, and the cooling performance, just the, the bumps in cooling performance is just not worth it. So although it's fun to try, and I'm glad I did, and uh, I will continue to try random stupid things, even though if it kills perfectly good objects, at least for now we know what the max voltage is for the A12X25. And if you got other things you want to see me overvolt or other video ideas you want to see performed on the channel, make sure to let me know down below. Get subscribed. We'll see you next time.